Are you intimidated by the thought of becoming an engineer with no experience? Welcome, I'm Brian Pham, and today we're diving into the world of engineering. Have you ever watched a rocket launch or seen a robot perform backflips and thought, I wish I could do that? But then that little voice in your head whispers, yeah right like you could ever be an engineer, you've got zero experience. Well guess what, that voice is lying to you, you know why? Because every single engineer out there from the ones building self-driving cars to the ones designing life-saving medical devices, they all started with absolutely zero experience. It's true. Nobody pops out of the womb knowing how to code Python or build a suspension bridge. So, if you're ready to ditch that voice in your head and take your first steps towards an awesome engineering career, then buckle up. In this video, I'm going to break down exactly how to go from zero to hero, even if you've never set foot in a lab or written a single line of code. Let's do this! Okay, let's get real for a second. I'm not gonna lie, the job market for engineers can be competitive. You see those job postings asking for five years of experience for an entry-level position? Yeah, it's enough to make you want to chuck your computer out the window. But here's the thing. Experience doesn't have to mean clocking in and out of a 9 to 5. Think of it more like leveling up your skills in a video game. You wouldn't expect to beat the final boss without grinding and collecting some sweet loot, right? It's the same with engineering. Every project you tackle, every problem you solve, every line of code you write, that's all experience points, my friend. And you can start racking those up right now, from your bedroom basement or even your mom's garage. Don't get hung up on fancy job titles. What matters is building a solid foundation of skills and showing potential employers that you've got the goods, even if you haven't worn a hard hat to work yet. Remember those epic blanket forts you used to build as a kid? That was you flexing your engineering muscles. You were problem solving, getting creative, and probably learning some valuable lessons about structural integrity along the way. The point is, you've already got the engineering spirit in you, it's time to unleash it. In the next few chapters, we're going to dive into some practical steps you can take to build up your experience points and impress those hiring managers. All right, listen up, because this is where the magic happens. Your portfolio is like your engineering resume, but way cooler. It's where you get to show off your skills, creativity, and passion projects to the world. Think of it as your own personal engineering museum, except instead of dusty artifacts, it's filled with awesome projects that make people go, whoa, you built that? Now I know what you're thinking. Mark, I've never built anything more complicated than a Lego set. And to that I say, perfect. Start small, my friend. Did you design a killer spreadsheet to track your fantasy football league? That's portfolio material. Did you write a program to automate a tedious task? Boom, put it in there. The key is to choose projects that genuinely excite you and showcase your problem-solving skills. Love robotics? Build a robot that can navigate a maze? Passionate about sustainability? Design a solar-powered phone charger obsessed with cats? Create an automatic laser pointer that keeps your feline overlord entertained for hours? Hey, I don't judge. Document everything. Take pictures, record videos, write detailed descriptions of your process, the challenges you faced, and how you overcame them. This shows potential employers that you're not just a code monkey, but a creative thinker who can tackle real-world problems. Once you've got some projects under your belt, it's time to create an online portfolio to showcase your work. Platforms like GitHub, Behance, or even a simple personal website can do the trick. Make it visually appealing, easy to navigate, and don't forget to include your contact information. You never know who might stumble across your work and be blown away by your skills. All right, let's talk about internships and volunteering. Now, I know what you're thinking. Mark, you said this video was about getting a job without experience. Aren't internships just jobs? Well, yes and no. Think of internships and volunteer positions as the ultimate cheat code for gaining real-world experience. You get to work alongside seasoned engineers, learn the ropes, and contribute to actual projects. It's like getting paid to level up your skills. Now, I get it. Not all internships are created equal. Some might involve more coffee runs than actual engineering work. But even then, you're still gaining valuable experience, making connections, and getting your foot in the door. The key is to be proactive. Don't just wait for internship opportunities to fall into your lap. Reach out to local companies, research labs, startups, even nonprofit organizations. Show them your passion, your portfolio, and your willingness to learn. And hey, if you can't find a paid internship right away, don't sweat it. Volunteering your skills to a cause you care about is a fantastic way to gain experience and make a difference. Who knows? You might even end up building something truly incredible while you're at it. Remember, internships and volunteering are not just about adding lines to your resume. They're about immersing yourself in the world of engineering, building your network, and gaining the confidence that comes from applying your skills to real-world challenges. So, get out there and make it happen. 
Chapter 4. Step 3. Networking. It's not just for suits and business cards. Alright, let's talk about networking. Now, I know what you're thinking. Mark, I'm an engineer, not a politician. I'd rather wrestle a robot than make small talk at a conference. And you know what? I feel you. But trust me on this one. Networking is crucial, and it doesn't have to be painful. Think of networking like building your own personal engineering dream team. You've got your mentors, your collaborators, your cheerleaders, and maybe even your future boss. These are the people who can offer you advice, open doors for you, and help you navigate the sometimes confusing world of engineering. So, how do you build this dream team? Start by attending industry events, workshops, and conferences. Don't be afraid to strike up conversations with people, ask questions, be genuinely interested in what they're working on, and share your own passions. Join online forums and communities related to your field. Engage in discussions, share your knowledge, and don't be afraid to ask for help when you need it. You'll be surprised by how supportive and welcoming the engineering community can be. And of course, LinkedIn is your best friend. Connect with professionals in your field, follow companies you admire, and engage with their content. You never know when a simple connection could lead to an amazing opportunity. Remember, networking is not about schmoozing or trying to impress people. It's about building genuine relationships, learning from others, and sharing your own unique skills and perspectives. So, get out there, be yourself, and start building your engineering dream team. Chapter 5. Step 4. Upskill continuously. Become an engineering learning machine. Alright, let's talk about upskilling. The world of engineering is like a rocket ship. It's constantly evolving and moving at warp speed. What's cutting edge today might be obsolete tomorrow. That's why it's crucial to embrace lifelong learning and become an unstoppable engineering learning machine. The good news is, there's never been a better time to learn new skills. We've got online courses, tutorials, webinars, and communities galore, all at our fingertips. Platforms like Coursera, EDX, Udemy, and even good old YouTube are your best friends when it comes to upskilling. So, how do you know what to learn? Start by identifying the skills that are in high demand in your field. Are you interested in machine learning? Dive into Python and TensorFlow? Passionate about renewable energy? Master solar panel design and installation? The possibilities are endless. Don't be afraid to step outside of your comfort zone and explore new areas. You never know when a seemingly unrelated skill might come in handy for a future project. Remember, the more you learn, the more valuable you become as an engineer. And hey, upskilling doesn't have to be a chore. Find ways to make it fun and engaging. Join a study group, participate in online challenges, or even start your own project that forces you to learn new skills. Remember, the key to staying ahead of the curve is to embrace a growth mindset and never stop learning. So what are you waiting for? Fire up those neurons and let's get learning. Chapter 6. Closing Inspiration, you got this. Alright, future engineering superstars, as we wrap things up, I want you to remember one crucial thing. Every single engineer you admire, every innovator, every tech genius, they all started exactly where you are right now. They had zero experience, a head full of dreams, and a burning desire to create something awesome. And guess what? You have that same spark within you. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. So go out there and build that robot, design that app, code that game, or whatever it is that gets your gears turning. Embrace the challenges, celebrate the victories, and never, ever give up on your dreams. The world needs more passionate, creative, and problem-solving engineers like you. So go out there and show them what you're made of. I believe in you. Now go out there and engineer a brighter future. Chapter 7. What to watch next. Thanks for sticking around to the very end. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more awesome engineering content, be sure to smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads. And hey, since you're clearly as passionate about engineering as I am, I've got a couple of videos lined up that you're going to love. First up, we've got How to Ace Your Engineering Interview, where I break down everything you need to know to impress those hiring managers and land your dream job. And if you're looking to level up your skills even further, check out Top 5 Skills Every Engineer Needs, where I reveal the essential skills that will set you apart from the competition and make you an unstoppable engineering force. Thanks again for watching and remember, keep on engineering. Outro from zero to engineer, you got this. All right, folks, that's a wrap. Remember, building an engineering career with no experience is like launching a rocket. It takes careful planning, a whole lot of fuel, that's your passion and dedication, and the guts to hit that launch button. Don't get discouraged if you don't see results overnight. Rome wasn't built in a day and neither is a successful engineering career. Just keep building those skills, tackling those projects, and networking like your career depends on it, because it kind of does. And hey, if you ever need a little inspiration, just remember that even the most brilliant engineers started with a blank slate. So go out there, make some mistakes, learn from them, and never stop iterating. You got this.